Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Quarantine Time with Celeste. I'm your host, Celeste Barbier, and this is episode number 89 for Saturday, June 20th, 2020. And it's the summer solstice. It's the longest day of the year. So happy solstice, everyone. And uh, so today I am drinking an iced tea of mango ginger. I just took my hot tea and then iced it up. And here we go in my cup. Of course, I have it in my mug because I wanted to show off my cup that my wife painted this amazing picture and my friend Shannon Murphy got these mugs printed up for us. Aren't they super cute? Love them. Anyway, so birthdays. We had a lot of birthdays today, but um, some of the old actors, I got a really old timey actor named Errol Flynn. He was known for his Errol Flynn mustache. He was born in 1909. He said, my problem lies in reconciling my gross habits with my net income. I think more than one of us can say that's probably true for us. <laughs> yep, me too. Chet Atkins, he's a, a, a jazz musician, played the trumpet. He said, once you become predictable, no one's interested anymore. Oh, darn. Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. I feel like I'm somewhat predictable, although you never know what color hair I'm going to wear, do you? Keeping you on your toes. He also said you shape your own destiny. Um, Lionel Richie was born today. He was born in 1949. He said, people, as critical as it looks, we're okay. We are in control whether we feel it or not. All we can be is okay, right? We got to keep going forward. We got to keep moving. And yeah, there's a lot of must messed up crap going on in the world, right? There's tons, but we're still okay. We're still here. If you're able to watch this video, you're okay. You are okay because you have access to the internet. You can see what I'm saying. You are alive and you have your ears and your eyes and your wits about you. Okay. Um, it's also Olympia Dukakis's birthday. She's an actress. She said, most of us are not real eager to grow myself included. We try to be happy by staying in the status quo, but if we're not willing to be honest with ourselves about what we feel, we don't evolve. This is true. I think a lot of people, um, they go through life, they go through the motions of life, and they don't really change until life forces them into a place where they have to change, whether it's uh, addiction-based or just personality-based. And a lot of people use that excuse, well, I'm just this way. You should deal with it. Well, if you know that you're this way and you know it's a problem and it's been a problem with people, other people your whole life, maybe it's something that you do need to work on, but you don't want to face it. So um, I have to say that the thing that really attracted me to my wife, a lot of people ask sometimes like, why, what's, what's the connection between you and Renee? Well, her ability to evolve and to work on herself is the main attraction that I had to her when she, I, so I'm kind of an interrogator. I'm kind of a inquisitive person. And I asked her over 300 questions on our first date. And she was so honest, like more honest than anybody would be. And you know, like some people try to impress you by like maybe giving you little white lies and telling you little, little lies or little half truths or kind of omitting the truth. Well, she didn't. She told me the full on here I am. This is who I am kind of truth. And I loved that. It was such a rare quality. Um, and she told me about how she got to critical places in her life that forced her to have to change and evolve and be a better person. And, um, I know that in my, in my life too, it's usually you have to get forced to do that. So whew, it's sometimes it's really tough to look at a mirror. I, I, one of my quotes is, um, uh, I, I said, um, sometimes it's really hard to look at yourself but you have to, um, but it's necessary. It was something like that. I had a quote. <laughs> I made a, I made my own meme one time. Um, but anyway, uh, so then there's a lot of different, uh, national days for today. Now this one, I never heard of before national queen Amon day. Now <laughs> queen in this case is spelled K U I K O U I G N. And a, Amon is A-M-A-N-N. -N. It's apparently a pastry that is like got lots of little folded layers of dough and butter and sugar. And it's like this pastry I have never heard of, but it sounds good. And they said, if you like croissants, it's something you would like. And it says that you're supposed to eat these on the today, but 
Who the heck knows where to even get one of these pastries? I have no idea. I've never even heard of it before. It is also National American Eagle Day, which is the bald eagle. And if you don't know, the bald eagle for a while was considered an endangered species, but was removed from the endangered species list in the middle of the 90s. And um, lots of conservation efforts have been used to protect the bald eagle. And um, they're thriving. They're doing really well, actually. Um, so that's good. Today is also National Hike with a Geek Day. So basically, this is supposed to... If you have a friend that's kind of a techie geek that likes to stay in front of their computer or play video games all day long, today's the day to encourage that geeky friend to get out into the real wild and into the nature, into real nature, get away from the computer, get away from the video games, and just go outside and experience nature. So this is called National Hike with a Geek Day. <laughs> we still use that word geek. I didn't know. Okay, it's also National International Nystagmus Awareness Day. Okay, so I didn't even know what this was. I had to look what a, what a, a nystagmus, nystagmus. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Nystagmus? Nystagmus? It's an eye issue where if you've ever met somebody who has a rapid eye movement where it jerks to one direction or both eyes move in different directions or they move in the same direction, but they jerk and they go back and forward. That's a real condition. I used to have a teacher like this in school when I was young and her eyes, when she'd look at you, her eyeballs would move, bounce back and forth really, really fast. So I guess there's a term for this. It's called nystigmus awareness day. So now you're aware of what is nystigmus is. It's a thing. Okay. It's also national vanilla milkshake day. Yum, yum, yum. And if you want to do a healthier version, maybe a national vanilla shake day, you know, a shake instead of a milkshake. A little protein shake or something. All I have is chocolate and strawberry, though. I don't have anything to make a milkshake with vanilla. Hmm. Oh, well. Vanilla was never my favorite, but it's okay. But it is also National Ice Cream Soda Day, and I love an ice cream soda. There used to be a little place by my university when I went to Chapman University, and it was, um, I think it was a pepper tree, um, but it, or it was a... It was some kind of little place, but it was a very small little stand right there in the little town of Orange, and you could get an old-fashioned ice cream soda, which had um, a couple uh, couple scoops of vanilla ice cream topped with um, soda water, carbonated water, and then strawberry syrup or whatever flavored syrup you wanted in the ice cream soda. Super delicious! It's absolutely. It became one of my favorite things. I'd get one. I'd get one once a week um, from that little tiny stand. Now, there's another day I never heard of. It's called National Anne and Samantha Day. Basically, it's celebrated twice a year on the winter and summer solstice. And it is um, celebrating the lives of two little girls. One is Anne Frank. And another one is named Samantha. Now, so I never heard of this little girl, Samantha. But Samantha, she, uh, during the Cold War between um, the U.S. and the Soviet Union, she wrote a letter to the leaders of the Soviet Union asking them not to have uh, any nuclear war with the U.S., this little girl. So she became the known as the youngest ambassador of the United States. And um, there's like this whole story about her. So look up National Anne and Samantha Day. It's a very interesting. It's also National Seashell Day. I love seashells. Um, so it's National Seashell Day. Maybe make some seashell jewelry or go looking for seashells. I don't see a lot. I live on the beach and I don't see a ton of seashells. You're mostly going to find maybe a little couple clam shells. Uh, once in a great while, you might find a little like um, snail shell out there. But usually everything's pretty pummeled by the water over here. You'd have to find a cove. If you have a cove, then you might have some seashells that have been preserved. But yeah, I don't see a lot here. You know where I saw a lot of seashells was when I lived in Australia. There was this little cove and the seashells were so thick that you were just standing instead of sand. It was just thick, 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 thick seashells. All kinds of different little tiny seashells which were gorgeous. I tried to bring back like five pounds of them. <laughs> I had to whittle it down. I ended up with a few handfuls. Um, and it's also National Summer Begins Solstice Day. So it is the longest day of the year. So today's officially the start of summer. Uh, we are having an overcast day. It doesn't even look like summer outside. So anyway, that's a 10 minute show almost for you. So today is also Saturday, June 20th, which means I'm also doing my... Uh, Celeste by request show or later today. So at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I will be performing a nonstop three hour concert, which will be streaming uh, to different locations as well. So uh, please tune in at Celeste Barbier Vocalist for my show. And if you want to find my full 
request list. It's at CelesteBarbier.com. You can see all the songs that I have available and you can chime in and tell me what you want me to sing. So I'm always trying to do some different stuff too. So it challenged me into a song that I haven't, you haven't heard me sing in a while. So thank you guys for watching my tea time. Aww. Enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow for the 90th, 90th, 90th episode of Quarantine Time with Celeste. Who knew a world pandemic would strike, I'd be stuck at home with nothing to do, and I'd be doing some freaking show about drinking tea and quoting people and telling you what day it is. Anyway, but it's really been an interesting ride, and we have 90 episodes. We're 10 episodes away from my 100th episode. I'm going to have to plan something spectacular for my 100th episode of this. We'll see. All right, you guys, take care. Have a wonderful rest of your Saturday, and hopefully I'll see you at my Celeste by Request show today.